Hey guys, in this video, we will be looking at our max and min aggregate functions. For this exercise, we start off with the activity to bring back the highest and lowest grade or grades for each course. And so, as usual, we start off with our basic, select star, and then we can assess and see what it is that we're interested in. And that would be the course and the grade. So process of elimination, we just say course ID and grade. So now we're bringing back each course and the grades that have been awarded for these courses. And I can include a where clause to say where grade is not null so that I can eliminate those rows that have no grade. So essentially this exercise should see us bringing back one row per course. And in this one row, we should have the highest grade and the lowest grade for any particular course. So let's take for instance, course with ID one, the highest grade awarded so far is 100 and the lowest one is 35. And so we want one printout that says the course highest grade and lowest grade as i'm sure we have grasped by now anytime that we're going to be doing an aggregate or some mathematical function like this we need our group by clause so we say course id and because we're going to be doing an aggregate function on grade then we don't need to include grade here in the group by so if i say max then that is the aggregate function that brings back the most or the highest value once that grouping has occurred. So if I run this, then we will see that course ID 1 is bringing back 100, course ID 2, 90, 95, and 59. But of course, that's not all. We've satisfied the requirement to bring back the highest. Now we need to bring back the lowest. And to bring back the lowest is simply using the function min. So min grade. And so when it groups it by course ID, it's going to say, okay, what are all the grades? Give me back the highest value and give me back the lowest value. Also, you may realize a trend that most of these aggregate functions only work with numbers because you know you can't find the max name and the min name. But then of course, like count actually is not biased towards any data type because count is literally just keeping track and presenting a number of the number of occurrences. All right, so when we have max and min, please remember to only use number values there. And so when we run this query, we see that we have 135, 90, 64. And so this is a nice clean way to bring back a report on each course and who the highest scoring or the highest score and the lowest score. So you can go ahead and play around with min and max. And as I always say, have fun.